Subliminal messages. This is a video I would like to film to explain for beginners what subliminal messages actually are and how they work, how you can use them. Okay, so I did make a video before about subconscious programming, uh, pro reprogramming your subconscious mind. It's kind of similar to that. Subliminal message is a message that you're not aware of. So your conscious mind, the part that you think is you right now, so the conscious mind is the part that's thinking, okay, I'm watching this video, what's he saying next? It's getting a bit slow. Might click away to another one, might comment, whatever. That's your conscious mind. It's filtering information and deciding what to think about them, the information. Your unconscious mind, your subconscious mind, is the part of your brain that's absorbing random and every bit of information that's going into your senses. So think, so your subconscious mind is, is processing things like, oh, what shade of blue is that light in the background? Why, the, why is there a dartboard in the background? Uh, there's a loft hatch above me, like things like that. Your subconscious mind is processing those things, whereas your conscious mind is filtering that and deciding what to think about specific things, right? So a subliminal message is a message that goes past your conscious mind. So you're, you're not consciously aware of the message. And then it directly goes past your conscious mind and to your unconscious or subconscious mind. Now, why is that important? Our conscious minds are like a giant filter based on uh, memories, beliefs, experiences, and programming, okay? So a conscious mind will filter out various different ideas and things and decide, before they even enter your brain, really, decide, like, do we like that? Is that true? Is that not true? Uh, do we want to think about that? Do we not want to think about that? And through this filter, the conscious mind basically decides what ideas come into your subconscious. This is very important. If you need to change your subconscious beliefs, which you probably do, right? If you need to, if you have limiting beliefs, if you have doubts, fears, insecurities, these are all subconscious beliefs. So what happens is when somebody says, you don't need to be scared, or um, you can make unlimited amount of money online, that's a belief, right? An idea that comes in, hits your conscious mind, which is this filter, and your conscious mind says, well, I've never made money online before, so I pr it's probably not true, so that's probably nonsense. So therefore, go away. And it, it kind of filters out this idea and pushes it away and doesn't allow it into your subconscious mind where it would actually change your beliefs and help you uh, create a better life. Subliminal messages bypass your conscious filter. So the new idea, let's say the idea of um, you don't need to be scared anymore or you can make money online or you can lose weight, or whatever it is, that idea, that belief bypasses your conscious filter and goes directly into your subconscious mind where it changes your belief. Without your conscious mind getting in the way, without you getting in your own way and saying, trying to shut yourself down and criticize yourself before the new idea has taken hold. So usually a subliminal message is found in like advertising. You see this a lot with big brands. They'll do things like, um, for example, like Coca-Cola, okay, the king of subliminal, uh, subliminal messaging. Their ads, right? you'll see like a really sexy girl or guy drinking Coca-Cola on a hot summer's day and you think, oh, okay, well, it's just an ad. Okay, it's Coke. No, that's it's a subliminal message because the subliminal message is that attractive people drink Coca-Cola and if you drink Coca-Cola, you, you will be attractive, right? That's, the, that's what they're suggesting with that ad. The message is subliminal because you don't usually think about that. You just see the ad and that's it, right? But your subconscious mind now has this idea that it has formed this unconscious connection between being attractive and drinking Coca-Cola. It's a very strong subliminal message. Now, obviously that's a quite a basic one, right? A very basic one. But the best subliminal messages are basic because then they're easier for your subconscious mind to understand. So it can be any belief, any idea, any story, any statement can be a subliminal message. All it has to do is bypass your conscious mind and you know the filter that is in your conscious mind. So the most powerful subliminal messages and the best way of doing it is to have a lot of repetition. So just hammering the same message again and again in different ways, or in the same way, actually. Uh, the repetition is what builds the belief. So the more times you see a statement or a message, the more likely you are to believe it, even if, and this is the crazy part, even if your conscious mind doesn't actually believe it and is aware of the subliminal message. So I know, and I know this goes against what I said before, where, where it's like uh, the subliminal message has to go through your through your conscious mind, so you're not aware of it. But it works even if your conscious mind is aware of it with enough repetition. And this is really key. This is um, they, they discovered this through like brainwashing. They would study brainwashing and how certain dictators came to power. 
and through propaganda, right? And the way they were able to actually control so many people is through repetition. So they would repeat the same messages again and again. And at first, a large chunk of people thought, that's, that's weird. Like, I don't believe that. I don't like that. No, reject that message. But with enough repetition, those same people started to believe the messages. And this is re- we saw this uh, in the last few years, actually. A lot of, there was a lot of repetition around a certain something, right? They were constantly saying, you know, get this, do this, take this, right? You know what I mean? And through that repetition, completely disregarding data, logic, science, reality, and morals, just through that repetition alone, a lot of people put all of that stuff aside this, and just didn't make their own mind up and just said, right, well, okay, I guess I'm going to do that then. Completely disregarding their logic, their intuition, the reality, the, the data even. And they just followed what was being repeated to them because the subliminal message was so powerful that it entered their subconscious mind and it overwhelmed their conscious mind. So, as you probably have guessed, subliminal messaging can be used for good and bad. And the key is for you to use it on yourself for good things. And I do explain how to do that in the Freedom Tribe, the link's in the description. Um, Essentially, what you want to do is like kind of brainwash yourself to believe the things that you ultimately want to believe, to bypass your conscious mind, which is this filter, and change your beliefs for the better. But that's another topic. Um, I think really for beginners, this is all you need to know about subliminal messaging. The brain can't really resist it that effectively. We haven't evolved to resist subliminal messaging. So when you look at when you listen to things like binaural beats with subliminal messages, the conscious mind can't really doesn't really have a defense mechanism for that. You know, it, the information and the beliefs just go straight into your subconscious mind. It's very effective. It can be used, and again, it's neutral. It can be used for good or bad. I actually used this technology, this idea in some audio tracks that I had my team program. So it's called Shifting Vibrations. And if you've not heard of this, the link is in the the, the, uh, description. But we basically laced these beautifully sounding audio tracks and meditation tracks with subliminal messages. Things, I'm not going to tell you what the messages are, but they're very positive. They they help you to um, improve yourself, raise your vibrations, feel more confident, various different things. The page explains more and you can listen to some free samples, but they work very effectively, you know, for good or bad. So yeah, that's all you need to know as a beginner about about subliminal messages.